Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to Philly Talk with MK. It's your boy MK. So it's a quick reminder for you guys to hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, so when I upload and it'll go live, you'll be instantly notified. Smash that like button for the sisters, and for you guys to follow me on Twitter and Instagram, down below in the description. If you're not following me on Twitter, you're really missing out. We got a reaction video today, guys. We're reacting to my guy, that TD. His links will be in the description below. And we're reacting to Ben Simmons talking blank for six minutes with classical music in the background. So, let's just dive right into it and play. You and uh, Donald Mitchell, did you guys ever meet? I've met him a couple times, but I've never really had a conversation with him. If you could say something to him now, looking at camera, what would you say? Nothing, you know. He knows. Good, good job, he man. Knows. You're an amazing trash talker. You know, I'm not. I don't really. I don't go on Instagram. I don't go on Twitter, so I can't really. That's answer tap. the question in terms of what people are saying because I don't. I don't give honestly. But uh, fans are getting after you a little, a little bit. Does that motivate you at all? Or? Not really. It's kind of funny. The thing for me is, um, you know, I want to be up at the top, you know, where the, the top guys are with Steph and LeBron and guys like that. Um, so I try not to, you know, look at the guys that are, you know, rookies that come into the league uh, just because I want to be at the top. I just feel better when he's in the building. How do you feel about the, about your game? I mean, there's a, other they had a, a long time to prepare to have good things to say to me and that. I know you got yeah, still stuff in like rookie of the year stuff. Um, same old jokes. No creativity. None. That's what I was kind of disappointing, but well, you have that long to prepare, and that's all you have to say. Ben, uh, you said you wanted to take your game forward. How much do you think taking more jump shots or even taking shots uh, from the perimeter is important to improving your game? Um, it's important. It's very important. How are you not doing it? Repetition. Okay. All right, let's get back to your coach, Doc Rivers, because he came on the jump and he made a serious case for you as Defensive Player of the Year. Do you agree with him? Definitely, 100%. You know, I'm one of those guys who can guard one through five. Um, obviously, it's a lot of respect for Rudy. You know, I know what he's capable of. I know, you know, he, he's he's great down there in the paint, but he's he's not guarding everybody. It's been a two-man Rookie of the Year race all throughout the season. Yourself. <laughs> That's just what it is. I mean, he guarded me in Utah. And? I had 42. And, I'm not, I, and apparently I'm not a scorer, so it is what it is. <laughs> Yourself? And, and, and then uh, the, the Utah Jazz rookie, Donovan Mitchell. When you hear those um, comparisons, to your, you to those two, what do you say to that? Um, I mean, I don't really listen to comparisons. It doesn't You took five shots last night. Don't, do you think in this situation with this team and who you are, you need more than five shots, and some of them have to be from the perimeter? Yeah. But you're not doing yeah. it. How are you going to do that? How am I going to do what? Shoot more from the perimeter. You what? know, the coach, Brett Brown, said during the season. Question about your upcoming opponent, the, the Brooklyn Nets. Do you feel that this rivalry with you guys and the Nets could become one of the premier ones in the league when it comes to rivalries? This season or just in general? I mean, rivalry. In, in, for this season in the future. Rivalry. Um, I mean, if they keep that same team, definitely. But you know, it's gonna be hard to do that. But uh, no, nah, we we're going for the, the the past champs, the Lakers. You know, they they were the ones who won the championship. So you gotta give respect to them. Um, I mean, if you put it that way, probably not. I mean, I try to score. So I mean, like, I understand the question, but you know, there's nights where I feel like I'm dominant, but it, it may not look like a 40-point game. You know, I might have a triple-double, we might win by 20, whatever the case is, or it might be on defense. Doc just told us that when he called other coaches to talk about All-Star, that there was never really a doubt that you were going to get voted in this year and that you built up a respect around the league among coaches that they just consider you an All-Star now. What does that reputation mean to you? Um, I think that means more than, you know, fan votes and things like that. Who, who's the rookie of the year this year? Who would I pick? Who would you pick? Me, for you sure. Pick you pick 100%. Me. If you look at the numbers, you'll see. People who know the game, though. It depends. Like, usually I see a lot of, I see a lot of shit on the internet. Um, so when I saw that one, you know, I had plenty of time because I was on quarantine still. Uh, so I scrolled through his Instagram, saw who he was. Um, 
it is what it is. I, he, he's like a, a, a five foot five commentator for the Wizards, man. I can't give it too much attention. You know, I was just playing playing a little game with him, but it is what it is. He turned around and, and said something to uh, some of his baseline fans. You I think that was from my 10th assist. Uh, somebody said I was trash. And you said? I got a triple double. <laughs> Um, obviously, Brooklyn, you know, there's a lot of talent. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, there's only one ball. You got to play defense, too. So, you know, we got we to gotta come and prepare mentally. Uh, I think you took a three, and you didn't make any big deal of it. You just said you did it. Do you think, with the coach wanting you to do that, that you also? I think it's just making a point of emphasis in terms of just being more aggressive. I don't think it's just taking shots just to take them. I think it's just being aggressive and, and doing my job. So I don't think it's any certain shot. Um, but when you give me the ball, I'm able to make plays. Yeah, I love I loved when I saw Rudy, Rudy's guarding me. Uh, so, <laughs> I mean, I, I love being able to go at somebody like that. Um, you know, um, yeah, I, I felt like it was a little bit of disrespect putting him on me, but it is what it is. Did you did you enjoy uh, you know the, the atmosphere? Obviously, the hostility and kind of hushing all that. I mean, I, I love being able to come into an arena and hear booze and, and chants, or whatever it is, and see signs, and then come here and win by twenty. And there's nothing better than that. So. I just want to say one thing before I close this video off. So. He said that it was disrespectful for Rudy Gobert guarding him, right? So, why don't you play like that when Magic Del Dover's on you? Or Grayson Allen, one of those guys. Why don't you attack? Like, I don't know, Ben Simmons, it's just a, he gives me a headache from time to time. Let me know what you guys think about this video and this reaction in the comments below, all right? Give the kid E a subscribe and a follow on Instagram. His links will be in the description below, all right? Subscribe, hit the notification bell, smash that like button, follow me on Twitter and Instagram, and yeah, MK out.